I dropped Haynes and Money, right? I dropped Tanya's son. That's the one that he, it was Haynes and Money. Haynes and Money, and we got the uh, proof too. It peaked number five on Apple, right? Oh, that's good. Because you're, you're actually independent. You, there's no, yeah. you never been on no major with Mad Machines. But guess what? Jalil Beats, that was one of his producers. Jalil Beats, he got the uh, Meek got the whole album taken down. He took uh, your album down. Stop. What is it? Cease and disorder. Stop and cease. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. He got my album taken down because not the, not because of Jalil Beats, because of Nick Paps, his producer. Nick Paps did the drums on a record called Boast, which was number two on the album. So instead of just saying like, yo, my producer, Nick Paps is on there. Let me get this record removed and just let the album do the numbers. He got my whole album taken down because his uh, producer was on. Uh, he did the drums with Jalil Beats. So the, so the song was produced by like Jalil eight. Beats and Nick Paps. Yeah. I swear to God, it peaked at number five. I'm going to like, bro, I don't even want to keep swearing. I'm going to just show you the numbers. Like, I'll show you the Apple and all that. It peaked at number five. And he got it taken down. And he got it taken down, yeah. And you're an independent artist at yeah, this time. I still, my distro, that distro kid was like, what? It was like 25000 like, the first check. You know what I mean? So it did do good. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? With the distro kid and all that. But imagine what it would have did if he didn't take it down. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, so he just took it out out of hate. He took it down because his producer, Nick Paps, was on there. And he don't want his producer... Or nothing in, with the Dream Chasers to do with me. You know? Really? So that's why you take it down. And not Jalil Beats. Me and Jalil Beats is cool. You know? Yeah. I got the beat from Jalil. But Jalil was like, damn, I forgot. The beat was it was like six months old. And I forgot Nick Pash did the uh, drums or whatever. My bad quill. I apologize. So I don't have a problem with Jalil Beats. Like, you know what I mean? I don't even got a problem with Nick Pabst. Nick Pabst was just listening to his boss. That's all. You know what I mean? Wow. That's so crazy, bro. So th- th- there was a whole period, and I'm, I'm pretty guess uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty sure other things happened. Mm-hmm. There's there's a period, and I remember um, hearing you you had gotten shot. Yes, and yes. that's why I was like, yeah. I'm like, you my I, man too. You reported that too. I'm like, damn, I was in a hospital. No, I'm, I'm like, gonna be honest. It sounded bro. so bad. You I'm still like, I'm, keeping I'm, my, but you still you still kept my name alive, bro. Like, yo, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm glad you. I salute you, you through that, you, bro. You, 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 you seem to be here in perfect health, and I'm, I'm very happy for that. Yeah, but but good. I thought that had to do with maybe that situation. Fuck no. He ain't got nothing to do. He don't cross I thought he was sliding. I don't know. No. I'm in the streets. That was some shit that I did. Mm. Yeah. That had that came from my hand. Okay. I'm nothing really to do. in the streets. I'm, come on, bro. He ain't feet on land. He ain't one of them. That's why, bro. That's Why, why does the everybody keep saying that? That's why the streets respect me so much because it's like, damn, they know I got my feet on the land. I'm around. When he said, I run my city from South Philly back to Uptown. He never been Uptown. Ever. <laughs> Yo, stop. Bro, I got footage. I'm going to give you all this footage of me down South Philly, chilling in Point Breeze, chilling with TV, you know. I told you once he got locked up, they kind of, you know, became loud music and county boy uh, staff. They was like employed for us. Mm. Me and Big Bloody. I swear to God. I'm going to show you the pictures. When you see these pictures, you're going to be like, wow, Quilly ain't loud one time. I'm going to show you every picture, bro. Like, Teefy, Teef and Pump. Like, super duper happy around me, bro. So what's, like, what's, out, bro. what's Meek's reputation in Philly then? Because the rest being of the rap being industry. A, being a bunny hopper. He's a bunny no hopper. Yup. And, and he, and I he, already and was he, terrorizing and he, Philly for a while. No, he's a bunny hopper and he and he and he played them drunk and hug games with which McCall no. What's their name? What's the white boy name on the plane? Oh, Michael Rubin? Michael Rubin. He said, You're going to get a drunk and hug, and you're going to get a drunk and hug. So he never had Burke Street on Crazy Timing. With what? With what drug? With what pistol? What, what, what is he pushing? And I ain't trying to go federal and, you know what I mean, put him, you know what I mean? I thought he was running that shit for a little bit. Because he was rapping it with a nappy here type shit. No? No. Probably selling a little bit of weed here and there and shit like that. But, like, I know blocks won't smash or none of that. Like, Yo, I feel like... He was know, dirty, bro. Before I feel like he lied to me then. Before the deal, he was dirty. You just said nappy braids, bro. Look at me, bro. I ain't got no deal, bro. We coming up here in machines back to back, bloody. All from the muscle, bro. Like, no deal. Before his deal, he was nabby braids, fucked up. Like, no no type of sauce on, no designer, no none of that shit. 